so first let it be fix our agenda so what we are going to be discuss for today so let us fix our agenda so today so we going to be discussing about what is aws on we going to be discussing about what is a w s so what is aws we are going to be understand today by end of the session we can understand what is the difference between devops versus aws by end of the session we can conclude so this is a second demo session in yesterday we understood in yesterday we understood what is devops what is devops we understood in the last session today our focus is on aws by end we are going to be conclude what is the difference between devops and aws overall miss last session overall missed last session go to the youtube channel go to the youtube please uh, go for durga sahab channel <clears throat> go to the durga sahab channel in durga sahab channel go to the playlist in the playlist you can able to see devops with aws in durga sub youtube channel devops with aws by mr maha if you open this in the playlist first demo you can able to hear is today the second demo second demo also uploaded tomorrow is the third demo third demo also will be uploaded in the playlist so overall attend overall miss please revise one more time okay fine anyway anyway so before understanding aws and we going to be describe we going to be describe one more time what is a devops within 10 to 15 minutes we going to be discussing one more time what is devops one more time for because of you know new p students are there that's what so let them benefit so we going to be discuss one more time what is devops then we going to be understand what is aws and what is the difference between devops and aws we are going to be discussing for today and first we going to be start with what devops so before starting the devops if we going to be asking so totally three questions three questions so before that let me introduce myself maybe a few students my name is maha my name is maha i have totally 15 years of experience in it my career starts as a java java developer then i shifted as a devops engineer from last 5 years onwards i'm working as a senior devops engineer as well as cloud aws and azure also this is an exactly my profile so before starting i'm going to be ask you three questions and what are the first question what is an application the second question is what what is a server third question is what stlc what is an application anybody help me application is equal to website application is equal to website like a flipkart or amazon redbus hotstar or book my show prime video netflix these are all we calling as what applications only what is an application anybody help me the working software which is written any programming like java dot net python we are calling as what application that application we are going to be placing on hundreds of servers we are going to be placing on hundreds of servers after successfully placing on hundreds of servers we can able to access our internet as a website after successfully develop a software by using java.net the software we going to be placing on hundreds of servers then there itself we are going to be accessing as a a website like example flipkart 
red bus, whatever may be. But if you want to develop, if you want to produce a business for a business, if you want to develop a website, we have to follow SDLC. What is an SDLC? Software Development Lifecycle. Software Development Lifecycle. In this SDLC, we have a several stages and several phases. In this, we have a analysis, design, implementation, testing, deploy, and maintenance. If you want to do, if you want to do, if you want to do any business, any business, like for example, I have a business called a travel business, example, a travel business. To do business in internet, definitely we required a website or not, tell me. Yes. yes. So it is a red, red bus kind of business. I don't have a website, but I want it. So how exactly we can able to guess, please, first, we are going to be gathering information. Means what? Analysis is nothing but what? Gathering information from the client. How exactly this business, what is login page, what is the registration page? How exactly the payment? What is an exactly this business model? And each and everything we are going to be gathering from the client who is a business owner, which you are calling as a client. From the business owner, we are going to be gathering information. Based on the information, we will be plan. We will do plan. So plan is nothing but what? Design. According to the plan, our developers will write lines of code by using java.net, Python, or anything that we are calling as what? Software. So after analysis, so it will be design, means plan, according to the plan, our developers will implement the software. Whether the software is in working condition or not, our testers will be verified. Once if it is verified, we are going to be placing on hundreds of servers that we are calling as what? Deploy. That we are calling as what? Deploy. So once if you are placing our applications on hundreds of servers, we are going to be accessing as what? Website. That's it. No. Whether it is website is working or not, we are going to be monitor and maintenance. These are all the stages we are calling as what? SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. By using SDLC, we can able to produce, we can able to produce a website means a software. We are going to be placing on server side. We are going to be accessing as a Redbus kind of application. That is the whole story. In this SDLC, and each and every employee is a part of this. Each and every IT employee, part of this diagram, maybe developers, testers, or DB administrators, DevOps engineers, AWS admin, Linux administrators, we're all part of this diagram. We're all together. We are going to be produce and deliver a working software to do business in internet that we are calling as a website. Clear all of you what is an SDLC? So I think so. We understood very clearly what is an application? What is a server? What is an SDLC? We understood very clearly. Understood. But on top of this SDLC, we are going to be you, we are going to be implement our DevOps process. On top of SDLC, we are going to be implementing our DevOps process. So DevOps is nothing but what? First to DEV, first to three letters. DEV is nothing but what? Software development. So second three letters. OPS, OPS, OPS. We calling as what? Operation. The combination of software development plus operation. We are calling as what? DevOps. That means so we are we are part of coding, build, test, release, deploy, operation, and monitoring. Means our roles and responsibilities start from dev environment, 
ends with operation means production but to be frankly we are not writing any coding we are not writing any test cases just we are going to be implementing an automated process just we are going to be implementing an automated process which you are calling as what devops process tell me what is devops please anybody help me process devops is nothing but what is a technology like java .net, python no. it is not a technology it is a process it is a process we are going to be implementing from dev environment to production environment Usually, so developers are keep on writing lines of code in the environment, their laptops. They keep on writing the lines of code which you are calling as what software? Yes, sir. Yes, the software we are going to be delivering into where? Into production servers. So while delivering working software from the environment to production servers, we are going to be implementing a an automated. devops an automated devops process while implementing this devops process make sure whether you are going to be delivering the working software within a shortest time with the high quality with low cost is nothing but what devops process guys please let me repeat this point one more time what is devops devops is a process which process an automated process while implementing an automated process from dev environment to production environment make sure whether you are delivering working out which is written by developers within a shortest time or not with a high quality or not with a low cost or not is nothing but what devops process but after getting into the company when you are stepping into the company so what is the major goal guys please we are going to be replacing with complex pipeline with transparent, transparent pipeline complex pipeline with what transparent, transparent pipeline. pipeline so the complex pipeline which you are calling as what sdlc the transparent pipeline we are calling as what devops process sir why we are calling sdlc is a complex because of it is a manual process everything is a manual from analysis to design design to implementation implementation testing testing to deploy deploy to maintain it is a manual process it is a manual process due to the manual process if you got any issue in the middle any problem it is very difficult for identification it will take long time for resolving issue also it will take it will take long time why because if it is a manual process because if it is a manual process to understand this so i'll give a good example it is a water pipeline underground it is a water pipeline in is under ground somewhere else it is a blockage it is not a leakage it is a blockage so how difficult to identify this problem how difficult yes please it is very difficult or not yes yeah. so experts are required that means we need to pay more salary increase in the cost even after paying also it will take lot of delay after identifying the problem also it will replace we fix the bug replacing with this new pipe so it will take long time the same way our sdlc process also but what we are expecting guys please we are expecting a transparent pipeline the same pipeline it is a transparent with an automated due to the transparent if any blockage any leakage any blockage or any bug in the middle of this pipe so one look itself can able to come to know where is the block or not because if it is a transparent because if it is an automation and as soon as possible we can able to give the solution for this same way our devops process also transparent and automated process while we delivering working software after writing the lines of code you know 
after writing the lines of code that code we are calling as a software the software we going to be while delivering working software if you got any issue any problem in the middle so by one look itself we can able to identify as soon as possible we can able to resolve so that is the reason we are going to be replacing with what complex pipeline with transparent pipeline but actual devops transparent pipeline is look like this okay the actual devops transparent pipeline look like this only in this devops transparent pipeline so we have a plan coding integration testing release deploy and operations in this devops transparent pipeline our roles and responsibilities start from where coding ends with what operation that means we we are part of dev environment integration testing release deploy and operation but to be frankly we are not a part of planning we are not do, we are not doing any planning bs ba business analyst is responsible to planning and moreover we are part of the environment but we are not writing any lines of code by using any programming java dot net we are not using and moreover we are not writing any test cases like a selenium test cases an automation test case we are not writing sir what exactly we are going to do we are going to be implementing an automated a transparent pipeline from dev environment to production environment this is an exactly our priority our goal while implementing this devops process while implementing this devops an automated automated a transparent pipeline make sure whether you are going to be delivering within a shortest time with the high quality with low cost with low failure rate what we delivering and working so is nothing but what devops process for implementing this devops process for implementing this devops process we are going to be learning some tool stack which are all the tool stack guys please so let it be listed down which are all the tool stack we are going to be learning guys please yeah so get we are going to be learning maven we are going to be learning jenkins we are going to be learning jfrog we are going to be learning sonar cube we are going to be learning an ansible we are going to be learning chef we are going to be learning aws complete aws it will take 6 weeks more than aws we are going to be learning docker kubernetes vagrant negios and elk and terra so these are all the tools we are going to be using for implementing this devops transparent pipeline got it by using git it is a version control by using maven build tool by using jenkins jenkins is an automation tool and jfrog is a release is a release and sonar cube by helping of these are all the tools git maven jenkins jfro sonar ki we are going to be implementing ci cd process continuous integration continuous delivery means after successful written the code by developer that code we are going to be maintained by who devops engineer who is written by please tell me developer maintaining by who devops engineer. so after maintaining where you are maintaining as please in git itself we are going to be execute build by using what maven but how many developers keep on writing from morning to evening n the n number of developers code we need to integrate continuously or manually continuously because of manually not possible so continuously developers are writing from morning to evening that is the reason we are integrating continuously also that's what we calling as what ci continuous integrating 
all develop our source code by helping of jenkins by helping of bit maven so once if it is integrate we are going to be verifying by executing our test cases it is an automatically execute this case, test case is also automatically executed once if it is an execute automatically we are going to be delivering delivering we going to be delivering continuously delivering into where release release is nothing but what j from understood very clear so after successfully delivering after successfully delivering we are going to be deploying our applications on hundreds of servers hundreds of servers these hundreds of servers we can able to automate by helping of configuration management so what is the configuration management so this hundreds of servers automatically creating files automatically installing softwares automatically creating users so on a hundreds of servers we are going to be replacing with a manual configuration process with an automated process but this configuration management supported by ansible and chef we got to be learning complete ansible complete chef but from where exactly we can able to get this hundreds of servers maybe physically from physical environment or virtual environment or moreover cloud which cloud aws by using aws we are going to be getting a hundreds of servers on top of these hundreds of servers we are placing our applications on top of this hundreds of cloud servers we are placing our application we are going to be accessing as a website not only deploying our applications on not only deploying applications on cloud servers we can able to place down docker containers also what is a docker container what is a docker container docker container is just for placing our websites if anybody ask you what is a docker container what is the answer please easily placing our applications with a less cost with high performance with less cost with high performance please then better example please a normal container how exactly this containers works how exactly this containers works this container the same way our docker containers also works same but this container is an exactly what for transporting seafood but our container is for what transporting our applications means websites only but this containers can manage by whom shipper how exactly these are all containers managing by the ship the same way all my docker containers can manage by whom kubernetes clear all of you and we are going to be creating a virtual machines in your laptop also by using vagrant we going to be learning negios for monitoring our servers and whether it is server is up and run what is the cpu load what is the car, what are the ram size what is that exactly server is we can able to monitor our physical things sir and we going to be learning elk elastic logstash kibana elastic logstash kibana by helping of elk we can able to monitor our applications in the background centrally so the logs are generating or not those logs will be monitored how exactly this application is performance good or bad slow or speed we can monitor and we are going to be learning terraform terraform is a cross cloud platform by helping of terraform we can able to create a servers in any cloud either azure or google or aws it is a cross cloud platform so these are all the tools we are going to be learning for what implementing our devops process and yeah please help me please help me for today what is an application 
<clears throat> standard answer is what application is equal to website very simple answer what is an application application is equal to website, website. what is an application the working software which is written any programming java dot net python we are calling as what application but if you want to maintain this application if you want to maintain if you want to deploy if you want to maintain if you want to deploy if you want to place an application we required a infrastructure infra structure please infra structure and infrastructure sir what is infrastructure strange gadu please help me have you heard about this word in dictionaries if you open the dictionary what is the meaning what is infrastructure <clears throat> nothing for example i want to conduct this uh, devops class what kind of infrastructure we require definitely computer laptop tv chairs ac internet connectivity lights my water bottle so each and everything is required so for conducting devops classes what kind of infrastructure required same way for maintaining our application for deploying our application what kind of infrastructure is required that is my question understood very clearly where we are what we discussing we required majorly servers definitely servers are required then what next definitely network is required without network there is no servers at first first place should be network second place should be servers even so without network can able to conduct my online session without network can able to use mobile please think about it without network there is no laptop first that means without network there is no server then so what are the next please databases like mysql databases oracle databases you know very well some idea and storage and extra and so many but these are all the major infrastructure is required to deploy means to maintain our applications our applications excellent but how many ways we can able to get this infrastructure please anybody i think we discussed so many times you know how many ways to get infrastructure three ways so we are going to be getting a physical environment we are going to be getting from physical environment a virtual environment a cloud looks these two are same and these two are virtual machine zone if you talk about servers both are same but if you talk about environment different okay don't be confused as of right now we are going to be getting three ways what are the first way physically second way virtually third way cloud that's it as we are understand for today tomorrow we'll discuss deeper and but what is the cloud what is the cloud and it's just in moment we don't know where it is what is the cloud as of right now and to be specifically what is the cloud computing please have you heard about this word yes. what is a cloud computing so first of all please divide these two words what is a cloud what is a compute please tell me so what is a compute please at least compute means what is a computer huh? so the computer power like ram cpu motherboard these are all together we calling as a computer power that's why we calling as a computer the laptop or a desktop we have a computing power that's what we calling as a computer compute power is nothing but what ram plus cpu plus motherboard plus whatever the hardware in your system in your laptop or a motherboard sorry in your desktop whatever maybe 
We are calling as what? Computing power. But what is the cloud? Please. Huh? The cloud is nothing but internet. So tell me, what is the cloud computing right now? I'll repeat. So my question is very specific. I'm asking, what is a cloud computing? So please listen very carefully. I'm explaining. If you can able to access, if you can able to access remote placed resources over internet, from your laptop is nothing but a cloud computing. Understood? Nothing. Don't move. So what is the cloud computing, please? What is the cloud computing? If you can able to access remote placed resources, our internet from a laptop is nothing but what? Cloud computing. First, let us understand what is the data center? What is the data center? The use computing power. Use computing power like CPU, motherboard, what we have in the laptop, what we have in the desktop. The use computing power, keeping in a rack wise in a big room, we calling as a data center. I'll repeat. Use computing power in a rack wise in a big room, we calling as what? Data center. These data centers are located in different locations, like in US, in Singapore, in Mumbai, in Hyderabad also we have. Globally, these data centers are expanded. These data centers are globally expanded. It is a tangible thing, it's touchable things. We can see, we can touch, we can feel, we can see, like your building, like our classroom, like your metronom building. Understood, we can see, but these servers, this data centers are located geographically in different locations like US and Singapore, in UK, and throughout the globe. Understood very clearly. From these data centers, if we can able to access a server, if you can able to access from these data centers, our internet from your laptop is nothing but a cloud. Understood very clearly. What is the cloud? What is the cloud computing? So remote placed resources means in Singapore, in US, in Mumbai, having these data centers, from these data centers, if we can able to access server, network, storage, databases, our internet from your laptop is nothing but what? Cloud computing. One question rises here, sir. We are accessing Team Viewer, sir. Any desk? Have you heard about this Team Viewer? Mm -hmm. Team Viewer. Mm -hmm. Any desk? You know? Yeah. Maybe you are uh, when you when you are practicing in your degree, maybe B Tech. So you are you can able to access one laptop, another laptop. You try that one Windows machine, another Windows machine. Is it a cloud? No. 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 But what is the difference? But that that and this. You are accessing only software level only. In operating system level, you are accessing it. But I'm talking about hardware level. What I'm trying to tell you, please, if you can able to access other laptop RAM from your laptop is nothing but a cloud. Will you? If you, that is a cloud. Understood very clearly. No confusion, okay? So the physical, which you have in remote place, resources like a computing core or a network, or a storage or a database, if you control or access over internet from your laptop is nothing but a cloud computing. <clears throat> Any cloud. Any cloud is a rental based. Pay as a service one. Any cloud, either Azure or AWS or Google, all clouds are, all cloud providers are providing only rental based infrastructure. By using cloud, we are not buying any server, sorry. We are not buying server, guys, please. We are going to be taking a rental server. Sir. Rental infrastructure. By using cloud, we are going to be getting rental infrastructure. For your understanding, which is easy for you, build the news and select the news. Always select the news.
always select the new fields. Same way, buying server is difficult or rental server is easy? Which is easy for you, buying server or rental server? Understood very clearly what I'm trying to tell you. And another way, so buying car easy or rental car? Rental car only. So I'll discuss with you one scenario, please one example, please answer to me. I want to go to railway station by car. I want to go to railway station from my home by car only. I have a two options. One is, first one is buying car, then go to the railway station. Second one is what? Rental car, go to the railway station. Just for reaching a railway station, is required to buying a car? Just book a wall like that. Within 10 minutes, the car is available at your doorstep. Getting into the car, reach the railway station, what are the tariff you can pay? Your purpose is fulfill or not tell me. So we are thinking about not luxury, we're thinking about whether your purpose is resolved or not. If you want to buy a car, we need to spend minimum 10 lakhs. Minimum. Driver is required if you don't know driving. RC is required, pollution check, insurance copy. We need to follow all the rules and regulations while driving cars. Okay, and moreover, maintenance monthly. Maybe driver salary, any go to the service center, washing, everything. But if you book a wall account, very easy. What are the tariff? 300 rupees, 400 rupees you need to pay. Then rest. Then after that, you know, don't worry about the car. Don't worry about license. Don't worry about driver. Don't worry about insurance copy. Same way. For getting infrastructure, for deploying our application, maintaining our application, we're going to be taking a rental infrastructure instead of buying infrastructure. If you want, if you want to buy a server, what will happen? Where you can able to keep the server and in the air? No. We need to keep in the room. We need to keep in the room. Who will pay the rent for every month? It is not like your, your home or office. It will heavy. The rents are heavy. And you need to pay current bill every month. We need to pay employee salaries. A lot of it. That is the reason. So nowadays, so who want to do business internet, those people are looking for what? Rental-based infrastructure. Easily, they can able to get infrastructure from cloud. So why we are moving into the cloud? I hope you people are understand very clearly. Understood? Yeah, any cloud. Any cloud. Any cloud has to follow these rules. Any cloud has to follow these rules. But which cloud we're going to be discussing as please? AWS, Amazon Web Services. We're going to be discussing in this Amazon Web Services. In Amazon Web Services, we're going to be discussing totally four models again. Four models, not services. And each and every model, we have a hell lot of services. I give you an already document. I give you an already syllabus content in yesterday class. Please go through that. So through all the topics I'm going to be covering in each and every model. So what are the first model guys, please? VPC. What are the VPC? Hmm. VPC is nothing but what? Network. What is EC2? Is nothing but what? Server. RDS is nothing but what? Database. S3 is nothing but what? Storage. S3 is nothing but what? Storage, please. S3 is nothing but what? Store edge. So what I said, please, anybody help me? Uh, please, anybody. VPC is nothing but what? Network. Yeah, please, next. EC2 is nothing but what? Server. RD is nothing but what? Database like MySQL, Oracle, whatever may be. S3 is nothing but what? Excellent. Yeah. So by helping of this infrastructure, which infrastructure? Cloud infrastructure. We're going to be deploying our application. We're going to be maintaining our applications. Very clear. So we're going to be getting cloud infrastructure for maintaining our application, for deploying our applications. Excellent. But let us deep diving into the what is a VPC, what is EC2, what is 
RDS, what is S3? Let us leap deep diving into that. First, let us understand what is the VPC. The VPC is nothing but what first? Tell me. Simply we can say network only. What is the single word? VPC is equal to VPC is equal to network. Have you seen any network in your life? Without network, can able to use a mobile? No. Even somewhere else in our office, we have a you know internet cable connecting with your laptop. Am I right or wrong? That is also network on. If you visit any office, we have the computers that are connected with the physical wire, physical internet cables on each and every computer. That is also network on. Understood very clearly. So, but here is what exactly a isolated the office network is a private network or not? Can I able to access TCS or HCL laptops or computer from outside? No. That will be nothing but a private or not. That is an isolated or not. That is a fully security or not. It is fully security or not. Same way, a isolated, a isolated, a fully secure private network, we are going to be accessing our internet in a virtual form is nothing but VPC. What I said? A secure, isolated, private network. We are going to be accessing from cloud, from internet, over internet. In a virtual form is nothing but what? VPC. Clear? Okay. So AWS, can anybody can access you and me? Anybody can get into the AWS. Zone. But VPC is you know, very secure. We can be. How we can't be accessing into the HCL, how we can't be getting into the TCS, same way, we can't be getting into this VPC. Sorry, extremely sorry for this. This box is dedicated to the particular company, particular network, particular people. This area is belongs to them. Understood very clearly. So AWS, anybody can log in, but VPC, this is your network. This is my network. This is my friend's network. On the same place, we are going to be creating all offices networks like HCL, like TCS, sorry. Understood, this will be secure. But after creating a network, we are going to be creating a servers or not? Means servers, networks, what I mean. So what is the server? How can I able to create a server by helping of EC2? E, C2 means one E, one E, two Cs. That's what E, C2. E, C2. What is compute? Please, anybody help me? What is the computing power? 100. Ram, CPU, motherboard. We have a computing power, you know. We have an idea, at least, in your mind, in your heart. What am I doing? But this computing power, we're going to be accessing from where? Internet. Through internet. Through cloud. But in how exactly? In elastic form. In elastic form. What is the meaning of elastic, please? Expandable, stretchable, increasing, decreasing our infrastructure. It's not as a fixed one. It is not it is not exactly stable, which you're asking yesterday is the same. What is elastic, please? Increasing servers, decreasing servers based on our customer load. Based on customer load by using EC2. What is EC2? Elastic Cloud Compute. Elastic Cloud Compute. It is just like your computer and which are all the components available in your laptop. Same component server also. But your laptop, your laptop using for only for home purpose, like dev environment, home purpose, practicing a DevOps and Java whatever. But server is not like that. Server is for deploying our application. It has to, it has to up and run continuously 365 days, 24 hours. So let us understand very with a small example. Small example. We can understand a little bit deeper. So, for example, I have a business, one more business, second business, not travel. So it's like in a Hearts are kind of business. I want to host this. I want to deploy application. I want to 
I want to place my application server. <laughs> How exactly in cloud? I want to do this business in cloud. First, we need to what exactly? Very quickly, please tell me. First, we need to deploy. First, we need to create network. First, we need to create what? Network. Understood very clearly. First, we are going to be establishing network. Inside a network, we are going to be creating what? Server. On top of server, we are going to be placing our hard server application, which is written by developers. You know the lines of code, the software. We're going to be placing on where exactly? Hard server. As our application, we're going to be placing on server side. Once if it is placed, we're going to be accessing from anywhere in the anywhere in the world. How we are accessing this? Day? We're accessing from anywhere in the world. Excellent, guys. But what about customer information? Where exactly we can able to maintain username, password, phone number, email address? We are going to be hold with. Database, RDS, excellent, Arun. But one more question is pending here. So by using hard server, what exactly we can please tell me? So web series, subscribing your videos, maybe Hollywood movies, Telugu, Tamil, whatever maybe Hindi. But my question is, so if you go for any Hollywood movie, Disney kind of Blu-ray printed. It is more than three GB. Can able to hold this three GB of video file in your database? Answer is no. But how? We can we hold these videos, the larger files in databases. But where we can able to hold? S three. We're gonna be hold a larger kind of data. We are gonna be hold with what? S three. The S3 is like S3 is like your Google Drive. We can upload, we can download any kind of format, any kind of file like Excel, videos, audios, PDF, any kind of image, any kind of file we can able to uploading into the S3 bucket. We can download from anywhere in the world through internet. How exactly your Google Drive works same way or S3 bucket also? How exactly your Google Drive? Work same way, RS3 bucket also. Even this PPT is presenting from Google Drive itself. How exactly this PPT the same way, S3 bucket also. If you are seeing this PPT, that means you are going to be working with S3 bucket also. Same way. How exactly this PPT presentation? Same way, our Google S3 bucket also works. I will. We will do practically. Don't worry. Fine. So these are all the models we are going to be discussing. So what is the first one, please? Network. Second. Servers, databases, and storage. So by using AWS, what we can able to do? Please tell me. Anybody help me? For maintaining our application, for deploying our application, we required what? Infrastructure. This infrastructure we are going to be getting from where exactly? AWS. After getting infrastructure from AWS, we going to be we are going to be doing what exactly? After getting infrastructure from AWS, what we will do? Deploy, deploy our applications on hundreds of cloud service. Cloud service by using the WAPS process. That's it. So, what is the difference between AWS and DevOps? Anybody help me? What is the difference between DevOps and AWS? By using AWS, we can get infrastructure only. But on top of, we going to be deploying our application. We need to install the software. We need to implement an automated process by helping a what? Yeah. DevOps. Getting infrastructure from where? Yeah. AWS. On top of AWS infrastructure, we're going to be deploying our application by using yes. DevOps process. While implementing DevOps process, which are all the tools we're going to be using? These are all the tools type. I hope you understood what is an AWS, what is a DevOps. That's what we're going to be learning both, not in the single. 
Got it? It's very clear, please. For more clarification, I'll give you two, two examples. Sir. So you want to learn A, B, C, sir. A, then what? B, then what? C. So A is equal to Linux. Sir. B is equal to AW. C is equal to DevOps. Sir. If you want to learn DevOps, you have to learn A and B. Yes, sir. No. Directly we can able and see. Yeah. No. Are we writing anything C like directly? No. And first we need to write down A, then B, then C. That's what we are going to be covering. Linux plus DevOps, AWS plus DevOps. If you want to stop in Linux, yeah. Go ahead and with the Linux into the getting into the job. Linux plus AWS, yeah. You can suit for that. Linux plus AWS for DevOps. This course for these profiles. You can choose after completion of as an AWS engineer as well as DevOps engineer also. And one more clarification. So better example. Remember after the session also, batsman is a DevOps engineer. Baller is a AWS. Combination of these two only cricket. Okay. Please remember this at least. So AWS is by using AWS, we can able to get a infrastructure. On top of infrastructure, we're going to be implementing DevOps and automated process. This is an exactly for the today's section. Nothing else is there. Yeah, no, fine. Excellent. So that is an exactly for today's session. So before close this session, not enough, not we have. Session is not completed. Yet. Some few new students we have. For them, let us revise our briefing about our course. Means so all of this course. So this course is complete. <coughs> DevOps, 100% DevOps. Complete means 100% AWS. Just Linux basics and shell script. The combination of this four, we're going to be conducting the sessions. And total duration is what? Four and a half months plus. Plus is there, please remember. Linux basics I will be covered. Shell script I'm going to be covering, don't worry. No programming. Java.NET Python is not required. Even we are not writing any programming while you are learning this course. So laptop is required. So for your practice. So freshers can join in this course. Experience also, experienced candidate also can join in this course. Any graduate, any graduate like BSc computers, BTEC, MTech, MBA, anybody, anybody can join in this course. If we join in this course, which are all the benefits, guys, please? Daily class recordings after payment, you will receive via Google Drive. Maybe tomorrow and day after tomorrow onwards, you're going to be receiving daily recordings also. From date of registration, you're going to be accessing up to 11 months. I'm going to be providing you resume preparation, interview question and answers, four live projects, 80% of soft metal I will be providing with you. Our course starts with the very basic level, finish with an advanced level. And each and every session is a practically oriented session. I'll, we are going to be discussing with the theoretical explanation. So then we are going to be implemented practically. So what we are delivering in the class, the same thing you are going to be practicing in a laptop. If any doubt, any clarification by using recording session, you can practice. Or else in the next session, you can able to clarify with me by talk, by chat, by sharing screen with your online students. And often any of you have a laptop. So. Yeah, after completion of the course, you will, reverse, you will receive a certificate from our institute. So daily one hour session is more than enough. Monday to Saturday classes. Sometimes we have a Sundays also, monthly ones. That I will be informing you prior to one day, don't worry. So you're going to be paying 12,000 rupees for full DevOps, full AWS, for daily recording sessions. So if you have any admin kind of questions related to pieces or any kind of questions or paying pieces, whatever may be, please call to this number or WhatsApp 9297-9297-77. If this number is busy, please call to this number. This is an exactly my course content link. I'm going to be, so you can able to copy paste in the, any browser. You can able to access my course content. Links. So first one is course or you know, variable, which I explained right now. Second DevOps content. The third one is AWS content. Links. First one is what? DevOps content. It is totally around maybe so 20 pages of DevOps content. 
20 pages of DevOps content. It is around maybe so 10 pages of AWS content. Please revise once after this session. So I'm going to be share this. I'm going to be share this information in in chat box. So each and every student, online students, please be get it. Offline students, please be take a photo of this. Please, can you take a snap, please? Offline students, please. Okay, fine. So, so my part is completed. But do you have any questions, please? First, let me complete online student, then come to the offline. So, please, uh, online students, do you have any questions, please? So, any questions, please, online students? Do you have any questions, please? I'm waiting for your questions for today's session. Unable to copy. So, Ram, please. So, can you able to take a photo of this, please? Can you take a snap, please? Or else, please call the admin. They will forward the link. Sairam. Is there any other questions, please, online students? I'm waiting for your questions, please. Excellent. So, do you have any questions for offline? Any questions, please? Yeah. So, the question here is listen very carefully. So, testers are there, but why, why Sonar Cuban? Why? Sonar Cuban. Sonar Cube is a code level. It is analyzing Java code, whether developers are following standards or not. Yeah, yeah. But it is completely whether developers are following standards or not. The developer is using right functions or not, Sonar key will be verified. Okay? But testers are verifying only functional level. Whether it is application is working or not only. If you're providing a mobile number, instead of mobile number, it's a place of any character, like uh, you know, A, B, C, something. If you desire, that is a bug. Those kind of functionality testers will verify. Tester don't know Java code first. If Java code analyze how exactly developer write, if testers are verified, tester can become a Java architect and YB is a tester. Clear or no? So, developer code, if testers can analyze, that means tester can become a Java architect. YB continues a tester with less salary. So, do are different. Look same, but not same. Okay, so our keep is working on our code level, but your testers are working on functional level in the front end, but so our keep is in the back end in the code level. Okay, fine. So we can't uh, connect one to one if any doubt. Yeah, Prashant, you can talk to me also. If anybody want to talk to me, if anybody want to talk to me, please raise the question. Please, you can ask me, please. You can talk to please. Anybody want to talk to me, online students? If anybody want to talk to me, please. Yes, we can, Prashant. Please uh, reply in the chat box. I can allow to unmute you, please. If it is unmute, all of them at a time, we talk all, all uh, at a time. So it is ugly. So the classes will not be continued. That is the reason, unmute all. If anybody want to talk to me, please. Rise request in the chat box. Definitely unmute. We can talk to each other. There is no problem, please, Prashant. Your question, please. You explained about the software development and cyber and uh, DevOps. Uh, which is that uh, transfer, transfer, yeah, transfer. Uh, so we can identify that. Uh, so sorry, if we got another uh, software development, it's difficult to find to explain that, right? Like, uh, turn an example, example, Amazon system, I where it got blocked. It's difficult to identify. Normally. Can you give me an example from the transport of DevOps transfer? No. How, how, can, how easily we can identify an example? Uh, 
No. So we are executing task cases, you know. So we are integrating task cases only. Okay. The written task cases by whom? Who's exec who's written task cases? Test cases. Test cases. Test cases fail means what? Test cases mean fail means what? The pipeline is breakout or not? Break down, break down. No? Report back to the again, developer automatically. We're mailing communication, some system will be created. That developer has to fix the issue again. Again, it's integration. Again, test cases will be executed. We are not writing development, we are writing test cases. But it's going to software. Definitely, we are part of all together. That means, you know, are you writing any development? Are you writing any test cases? Integrating on. If we, if any problem is occurred, testers are responsible, developers are responsible. Only. But so as a developer, we need to make them to fix. Make them to fix. Okay, it's not our Not our Okay. So for example, we are making a movie. <coughs> Given an example yesterday. It's going to be direct. So actors are developers are. Testers are editors are. But what do you do? What do you do? Make them work. That's it. Make them, make them all integrated. We need to implement a process. Then only movie will be fine and good movie. The same process here also. Got it very clear. Okay. Fine. Got it. Fine. So for that only we are going to be spending five months. Understood. So his, uh, what you're expecting today, you want to understand the complete scenario, but it does not happen. It is a demonstration only. So if you want to do practically, we need to spend a lot of time. We need to take more than three months. So what you're expecting in your mind, rising things, clarification. That is the reason we're spending more than four and a half months. Okay, got it. Fine, thank you. Fine, and Prashant, please. So once look at yesterday's developments. It is a complete uh, explanation of a DevOps process. Today is only only so maybe fifty percent a cover, but yesterday demonstration is fully demonstration. So what ex exactly the pipeline, how exactly works, we integrated, how exactly we discussed in the last session. Once revised the session, last session. Okay. Fine, Prashant, please. <clears throat> Prashant, now I came, right? Yeah. So talk to me, Prashant. Hi, sir. Good evening. Uh, good evening, and please. Yeah. Sir, so, so, really like, like if, uh, if like someone, someone wants to prepare for AWS, like, 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 like as you told, I had to delay almost two months for AWS course. Right? Yeah. And uh, I'm not able. Yeah, please continue. It is not audible. Please continue. Please, please, Prashant. Yeah, AWS will take two yeah. months. <laughs> Sorry, Prashant, I'm extremely sorry. I, here is not hearable. So, can you ask me the same question in the chat box better, please? I'm extremely sorry. One thing, Prashant, please call to Redmin. They will arrange a conference call. I will clarify, please, by tomorrow. I'm extremely sorry, Prashant. Yeah. Hey, is it clear now, sir? So no, is please. it clear now? No, please, please. Yeah, yeah. like, like uh, if, 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 if I'm, I'm uh, going for AWS, AWS and currently most, most of the companies, like, you know, they are asking AWS, AWS along with Terraform. So yeah. Like, like, like when are you going to learn about Terraform? Terraform also we are going to be learning, and yes. AWS, but, yes. Okay. Prashant, yes. Yeah, yeah. Prashant, yes. And, and after that, that AWS, AWS uh, thing, like, like uh, are you going, going to, uh, you know, um, like give us uh, AWS interview questions? Yeah, I will give. Entry questions, I think AWS is not, but uh, AWS dump will be given. You can practice. Materials I will be providing, don't worry. Soft copy will be providing, including AWS and as well as DevOps also. Hmm. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Fine. So before starting the session, before starting the session, first let us fix our agenda. What exactly we are going to be discussing for today's session. So today, 
Rasanda is what is DevOps? What is an exactly DevOps? We are gonna be understand for today. So what is the Rasanda guys, please? What is DevOps? That is an exactly understanding by today's session. Tomorrow, we're going to be understand what is AWS, this tomorrow session, and difference between DevOps versus AWS. Today, our agenda is what is DevOps? Tomorrow, tomorrow is in what exactly? AWS and versus between AWS and DevOps. So before starting this session, what exactly this course? What we are going to do? So just worry of this course before starting the demonstration. So let me discuss about what exactly this course, what we are going to be covered and each and everything. This course is completely designed with complete DevOps class, complete AWS, both in this duration. So we're going to be covering two courses. One is complete DevOps, complete AWS. And Linux basics, we are going to be covering Linux basics only. And shell script. And shell script. So total duration of this course is four and a half months plus. Four and a half months plus it will take. So if you want to join in this course, so what is the prerequisition, guys, please? A Linux basics shell script is required. That I will be covered. Don't worry. Linux basics, shell scripts, I will be covered. No programming, Java, .NET, Python, not required to join this. And after joining also, we're not writing any program. We're going to be writing only formats, like an ML format, Ruby format, like an XML mm -hmm. format is only. It is not a if else conditions. Maximum we're using only if condition. Max, okay. So, <clears throat> For practice, definitely you have required a laptop with this configuration. Minimum, minimum 4 GB RAM, minimum i3. If it is more than this, you well and good, fine. Who can join in this course? Yes, freshers can join in this course. Experience candidate like, you know, developers, Java developer, any developer, testers, AWS admins, Linux administrators, Windows admins. A DB administrators, any non it students, like a mechanical, chemical background, any MBA student can join in this course. But so the mandatory uh, thing is any graduate. Graduate is a minimum intermediate, you know. Minimum graduate can join in this course. Then. If you join in this course, which are all the benefits, guys, please. Daily recordings. Are. Every day, the classes will be recorded. It's going to be receiving via Google Drive after payment. From date of registration, you're going to be accessing 11 months. 11 months access. Got it very clearly. Either online or offline. Both students will receive recordings. So resume preparation, interview question and answers, four live real-time projects, 80% of soft material I'm going to be providing with you. So our, go, our course is going to be starts with very basic level. Very basic level, finish with an advanced level. And each and every class, each and every session is a practical oriented, not like a PPT presentation, nothing. So we're going to be understand theoretically. The same thing we are going to be implementing in the same session itself. That you need to practice by following recording. Still, if you have any queries, you can clarify in the next session, don't worry. Fine. So by end of the course, you will receive a certificate from our institute. Then, so daily one hour, we're going to be discussing daily one hour session. That you need to practice on the same day. That means the minimum it will take two hours. One plus two, how much? Three hours, you need to promise yourself per day. Then only can join in this course. Three hours, you have to dedicate it to this course per day. So classes are Monday to Saturday. Sunday also we have maybe monthly ones. Prior to one day, I'll inform you. 
prior to one day, I'll inform you. You're going to be paying 12,000 rupees fees, full DevOps for full AWS and daily recordings. You're going, you're, you're going to be paying for what? Full DevOps, full AWS and daily recordings. So, <clears throat> and if you want to talk to admin regarding admin questions, like please call to please 9297929777. If this number is busy, then call this number. And moreover, so what exactly we are going to be covering in this four and a half months to five months? So what is the course content? It is a course content link. I'm going to be share with you in the chat, in the browser. So if you copy paste this link in the browser, any browser from your laptop, you can able to access my course content. So what exactly I'm going to be covering in DevOps? The first document is always course audio. The second document is DevOps content. The third document is AWS content. Yeah, so the total 20 pages of DevOps content. Total is 20 pages of DevOps content. So 10 pages of AWS content. So just please go through that. Either offline or online students, please go to this, please. So I'm going to be share this information in the chat box. So offline students, I will share the end of the session. Okay. Just first, as of right now, I'm going to be copy paste in the chat box, each and every student, please be get it from here. Each and every student get it from chat box, online students, offline students. I will share the end of the session, don't mind. Fine, so before starting our session, I have a three questions with you. First, we need to clarify these three questions, then we're gonna be start our demo session. The first question, yeah. So before that, let me introduce myself. Let me introduce myself. My name is Maha. I have totally 15 years of experience in IT. My career starts as a Java developer. Then I turn as a DevOps engineer. From last five years onwards, I'm working as a senior DevOps engineer, as well as with AWS and cloud, Azure Cloud also. This is an exactly my profile. So before starting the session, so I have a three question. What are the first question guys, please anybody help me? Application. What are the second question? Server. So what are the third question, please? What is SDLC? First, let us discuss what is an application, please anybody have, have an idea? Do you have an idea about application? Application is equal to website. Application is equal to website, like a flip card, like Amazon like book my show, like a red bus, any websites we are calling as what? Application. What is an application? Some website. Application is equal to yeah. website. <laughs> but if you ask me definition kind of, please. So the working software, which is written any programming like Java, .NET, Python, we are calling as what? Application. What is an application? The working software, which is written any programming like Java, .NET, Python, we are calling as what? Application. But our, un our understanding as of an application is equal to website. But this application, after working software is ready, the working software is going to be placing on server side. <clears throat> the working software, we are going to be placing on, we're going to be deploying on placing or deploy, placing on server side. Once if it is placed on server side, we are gonna be accessing our internet as a website. I'll repeat this one more time, please. So the working software, which we are calling as an application, that application we are gonna be placing on server, server side. Once if it is placed on server side, we are gonna be accessing as a website. So I have, I hope you understood very clearly what is an application, what is a 
server as of right now. But what about SDLC? Hmm. Software development lifecycle. Who who knows? Who don't know? Can you reply in the chat box, please, all of you? Who knows? Who don't know? Please just reply in the chat box. Who knows? Who don't know about SDLC? Can you reply in the chat box, please? Based on that, I can I can explain much deeper. Fine. <clears throat> Yeah. So thanks for thanks for replying all of you. Thanks for replying all of you. So let us discuss what is SDLC. What is SDLC? Anybody help me? Software development lifecycle. By using SDLC, we can produce a working software. What is the reason? Now? By using SDLC, we can produce a working software the software we're going to be placed on server side then we are going to be accessing as an application but in this sdlc we have a several stages several phases phases or stages which are all stages guys please analysis design implementation testing deploy and maintenance and maintenance so these are all stages we have. By following these are all the stages, we can produce a website. For example, I want to build a Flipkart kind of application. Can we be able to build this kind of application over on it in a single day? No. Can I able to construct the house or apartment in a single day? No. If you want to build a house, two bedroom house, so how exactly you are going to be? First, we need to gather the information and what is the material cost, like cement, iron, water, maybe. Then we require a plan, land acquisitions, plan. So according to the plan, we're going to be start the building. How? So leveling your plot. Then, so start with beam, wall, slope, plastering, plumbing, electrical, paints, then ceremony. These are all the stages. Are we following or not? Then only we can able to ceremony. Then comes under maintenance, everyday maintenance. The same way if you want to build a red bus kind of application, book my show kind of applications, or a flip card kind of applications, we have to follow these are all the stages. We have to follow these are all the stages. What are the first one, please? Anybody help me? Analysis. Analysis is nothing but what? Gathering information from the client. Who is the client business one? Like how exactly the registration page, how exactly login page, how exactly payment gateway, how exactly dashboard, how exactly this list, each and every minor information about the business. So we are going to be gather and analysis. Based on analysis, it will be design. Design is nothing but a plan. Design is nothing but what? Plan. So after completion of analysis, after completion of design, our developers will, will write the code by using any programming, like Java, .NET, Python, any programming. Our developers, our developers will implement software. So once if it is implement the software, whether it is working or not, our tests, our tests will be verified. Once if it is verified, so our application we're going to be deploying on hundreds of services. Deploy is nothing but what? Placing. Deploy is nothing but what? Placing our applications on hundreds of services. It's nothing we calling as what? It's nothing but what? Deploy. Deployment. Once if it is deployed, we are going to be accessing our internet as a website. Excellent. That's it. No. Whether it is application is working or not, we are going to be monitor and maintenance. This comes under six part. So by following this all the stages, we are going to be build and deliver an application. Clear? So if you are joining as an IT, you are a, if you join in any, any corner, like in developer as a tester, 
as a DevOps engineer, as a Linux administrator, if you are IT person, you are part of this diagram. Developers are part of this diagram. DevOps engineer part of this diagram. Testers are part of this diagram. DB administrator part of this diagram. Linux administrator part of this diagram. On top of this diagram, by following this SDLC process, so as a team, we're going to be produce an application to do business in internet, like a making a movie, like a uh, playing a cricket. So these two are be better example for this diagram. As a team, as a team, so we are going to be producing a, a working software to do business in internet. But in this diagram, so what exactly we are going to be? What exactly we are going to be? So we are going to be replacing with an SDLC process with DevOps. We're going to be replacing with what? SDLC what? DevOps. What is DevOps? Please anybody help me. Software development plus operation. The combination of software development plus operation we are calling as what devops that means that means our roles and responsibilities start from where dev environment ends with where operation. operation that means we are part of coding yes we are coding we are part of build we are part of testing we are part of release we are part of deploy operation and monitoring so we are going to be implementing this way. But to be frankly, we are not writing any coding. Sorry. We are not writing any test cases. Just we are going to be implementing a DevOps process. We're going to be implementing what exactly? DevOps process. What is DevOps? <laughs> Is DevOps is a technology like Java.net? No. Answer is no. DevOps is a tool? No. Answer is no. What is DevOps? DevOps is a process. DevOps is a methodology. So by using DevOps, we are going to be implementing an automated process from Dev environment to production environment is nothing but what devops process while implementing this devops process we are going to be we are going to be make sure whether you are going to be deliver the working software within a shorter time with the high quality with low cost or not is nothing but what devops i'll repeat one more time listen very carefully so developers are keep on writing lines of code in dev environment that has to move the testing environment that has to move the QA stage one, stage two or pre-production. Then only finally it's moved to the production. But his entire process, we are going to be make it as an automate. We're going to be automate. There's an automation process which you are calling as what? DevOps process. So after successfully writing the lines of code, that code we are going to be deploying on production servers. We're going to be deploying on production servers with an automated process. With an automated process within a shortest time, with the high quality, with low cost is nothing but what? DevOps process. I hope you people are understands very clearly this point. What is DevOps? Process. Please, anybody help me. So we're going to be implementing an automated, a transparent pipeline, a transparent pipeline from dev environment to production environment. While delivering working software into the production environment, make sure within a shortest time, with high quality, with low cost. It is nothing but what? DevOps process. So which are all the advantages? If you are implement DevOps process, which are all advantages? So we can build and deliver. We can integrate 
and we can build we can test we can delivering into the production environment very fastly and very frequently and easily and we can able to improve n number of deployments and with high quality with low cost with low failure rate these are all the major advantages by using devops process by using devops process so once if you are stepping into the company as a devops engineer what is an exactly roles and responsibilities so the first responsibility the major responsibility is what exactly please replacing complex pipeline with transparent pipeline what is an, what is an exactly our, our roles and responsibility please replacing with what complex pipeline with what transparent. transparent pipeline sir what is a complex pipeline what is a transparent pipeline we should understand or no yeah so our sglc is a complex pipeline our devops process is a transparent we have understand already but let us compare so why we are calling sglc is a complex because if it is a manual process sdlc is a manual process from analysis to design design to implementation implementation testing testing to deploy so this entire cycle is manually there is no automation if it is a manual process in the middle if any issue occur for identification this problem it will take long time after identifying for resolving issue also it will take long time if it is take a long time definitely the cost is increase or no definitely cost is cost is increase quality is decrease and so low failure rate also, very high failure rate also these are all the problems we are facing with an existing complex pipeline so better example i will give you so you can understand so we have a water pipeline please the water pipeline is underground any water pipeline go for any water pipeline the water pipeline is an underground somewhere else it's a blockage somewhere else it is an underground so it is not leakage it is a blockage so please think about how difficult to be can able to identify experts are required and if it is experts are required definitely we say pay more salary even paying more salary also he is doing manually for identification it will take one week for resolving issue one more two weeks and i hardly one month it take so in meanwhile what about our customers are? means our people roaming with buckets and so it is very horrible you know the people are struggling means our customers are very struggle so finally end of the day so we do business without any disturbance in online yeah, that is a major goal please yeah fine so what exactly we are expecting as please so we want a an automated a transparent pipeline means we going to be replacing the same pipeline same thing we going to be replacing with a transparent pipeline everything is visualized everything is a transparent so somewhere else it is a blockage somewhere else it is a blockage so by one look itself we can able to come to know what is an issue where is an issue if you know where is the issue what is an issue we can able to provide as soon as possible solution that means we can able to provide the solution within a shortest time we can deliver within a shortest time we can increase the quality decrease the cost who don't want this technology please tell who don't want this process i hope you people are understand where we are what we are going to be discussing the same way what we have understand in this pipeline the same thing is going to be on devops process also so this is an exactly an automated a transparent pipeline while implementing this transparent pipeline if we got any issue in the middle easily we can able to identify easily we can able to resolve these issues as soon as possible within a timeline so that is the reason we are going to be implementing a devops process to deliver and deploy our applications means websites 
But actual DevOps processes look like this. Our actual DevOps processes look like this. In this process, we have a plan, development environment, integration, testing, release, deploy, and operations. And operations. But in this process, our roles and responsibilities start from dev environment, ends with an operation. So as a DevOps engineer, our roles and responsibilities start from dev environment, ends with operations. That means you are part of coding means dev environment. You're part of integration. That means you're part of testing environment. We're part of release. We're part of deploy. We're part of operation. But to be frankly, we are not part of planning. To be frankly, we are not writing any code. To be frankly, we are not writing any test cases also. Sir, what we are going to be doing, sir? So we are going to be an implementing an automated, a transparent pipeline from dev environment to operations. Make sure while you are delivering working software from dev environment to production environment, make sure whether the software is going to be delivered within a shortest time with the high quality, with low cost, with low failure rate or not. This is an exactly a reason. Done. Fine. Fine. So let us understand a little bit deeper in this diagram for a further lot of, uh, so we need to clarify much deeper. So we are part of coding or no? Yes or no? That means, yeah, we are part of coding. No? Yes. That means, are we going to be writing any coding? No. Means what exactly this? So the writing, the lines of code by using Java or .NET, whatever may be, the writing is responsible by the developers. The writing lines of code is responsible by whom? Please, anybody help me? Yes. Developers. After, write, after writing lines of code, after writing lines of code, that code is going to be maintained by DevOps engineer. Writing is responsible by the developers. Maintenance is responsible by the DevOps engineer. That is a very thin layer to understand this. But next question is, sir, how many developers are writing? One developer? No. N number of developers, it may 10, 20 difference, team to team. Project to project will vary. So N number of developers continuously writing morning to evening or? Yes, sir. Developers continuously writing clients of code from morning to evening. All developer source code after integrating, then only we are calling as an application or not, or else separately. No, by end of the day, all developer source code we need to mix like a grinder. That will be continuously. So, means what exactly? All developer source code we are going to be integrating continuously. After integrating, whether it is working or not. So we are going to be executing. So test cases, which is written by tests, just we are going to be integrating in this process. We're not writing, but we are integrating, which is written by testers. So once if it is integrated, once if it is an execute, if you got any error, what will happen? So it is redirecting back to the developers. Developer has to Fix the issue again, integration again, test again, dev environment again, integration. That means this continuously repeating this process. This process is repeating, this loop is continuously repeated until zero errors and zero bugs. So once, once if it is zero errors, once if it is zero bugs in this software, what we are calling, please anybody help me? What is the first question? Today only, na? What is the first question which I ask, please? 
application. What we are calling, please? Application. So the testing team gives you the working software as an application. Once it is an application is ready, directly we can able to directly we can able to deploy into the live servers. No, application is ready. Immediately we can't able to move to the live. We need to hold or hold or a hold a particular period of time. So in the release, a particular place we gonna be hold. In a number wise, in a sequence wise, this we calling as what release, release one, release two, release three. In a particular maintenance window with the support of all the team members. So we're going to be deploying. We're going to be deploying on hundreds of servers. How many servers, guys, please? Hundreds of servers. And if it is one server, not be here. You not be here to learn DevOps. We are going to be handling hundreds of servers to automate. So once if it is placed, our application on a hundreds of servers, we are going to be accessing as a website. So once if it is an accessing website, our job is done. No. So whether it is working or not, we are going to be continuously monitor and maintenance. So this entire process, which you are calling as what? Uh, DevOps process. I hope you people are understand. So what is a DevOps? How, what is the stages? In the apps, so how exactly we are going to be involving, we understood. But for implementing this in automate process, which are all the tools type we are going to be learning? Which are all the tools we are going to be learning? So first, let it be list down. <clears throat> for implementing this automate the apps process, we are going to be learning. Git. We're going to be learning what? Git. Maven. Jenkins. JFrog. SonarQ. Ansible. Chef. AWS. Complete AWS. It will take two months. Huh? Docker. Kubernetes, Vagrin, Negios, Elk, LST, Logstacks, Kibana, three tools. Terraform. So these are all the tools we are going to be learning for implementing our DevOps process. Our DevOps process. First, let us understand. So we are going to be implementing CI. CD, continuous integration, continuous delivery, CI, CD. In this CI, CD process, we are going to be learning Git, Maven, Jenkins, JFrog, Sonar. By helping of these five tools, we are going to be implementing CI, CD means what exactly? So the N number of developers continuously writing code or not? That code we are going to be continuously integrating or not. This is a continuous development, continuous integration, CI. Continuous development, continuously build, continuously integrate. It is a continuous process, but with an automated way. So once if it is integrated, so whether it is working or not, we are going to be verifying means making working software and we are going to be Delivering into where exactly, please? Release. We are going to be delivering. How many times are we going to be deliver? One time? No. N number of times continuously. Understood very clearly. So for implementing the CI CD process, CI CD process, we are going to be using what exactly? Which are tools? Git. Git is an exactly version control. And each and every developer source code, we are going to be maintaining in a version wide, in a separate copy zone. Once if it is, once if it is have the code in a gate, we're going to be execute and build an automated way by helping of Maven. Maven is a build tool. By helping of Maven, we can build the Java process. 
but this entire process we are going to be not automated this entire process we are going to be not automated by helping of jenkins jenkins is an automation tool to implement the ci cd process with an automatic and jfrog is nothing but what release jfrog is nothing but what an active factory which we calling as what release we going to be hold or a hold or a hall the working software in which server jfrog server that is we calling as what release and we going to be learning sonar cube sonar cube is nothing but what code analyzer whether the developers are writing with standards or not whether developers are using right functions or not it will automatically analysis it will give statistics and reports also so by helping of these are all the tools we are going to be implementing ci cd process so once if you are implementing ci cd process what exactly next step please we going to be deploying we going to be deploying on hundreds of servers it may 200 300 400 500 does, doesn't matter n number of servers clear this n number of servers we want to configure what is the meaning of configure sir creating files maybe deleting files creating users installing softwares uninstalling software just an issue just think about it so in a hundreds of servers even let us con consider as a laptops also i want to change one letter in a file open a file change one letter but this an activity i want to do in hundreds of servers sir. how difficult please think about it. looks is if it is one server it is very easy for us but if we doing same thing on a hundreds of servers how difficult please think about it will able to complete by end of the day never no it is not possible but what we are expecting an automated process am i right so what is in exactly we are going to be learning guys please after this configuration management means so this hundreds of servers on top of this hundreds of servers we are going to be implementing a manual configuration process with an automated process means at a time on a hundreds of servers we can create a file on a hundreds of servers we can install a software on a hundreds of servers we can deploy means placing our websites automatically which is easy for you manually or automatic automatic but this an automated process we are going to be implementing by using chef and ansible chef and ansible so we going to be learning ansible we are going to be learning chef both so ansible is a push model chef is a pull model sir what is a push and pull we'll discuss later not for today it will take one more session i don't want to eat your brains more let it be script c okay please so then what next we going to be learning complete aws not introductory way complete how exactly we are learning devops same way aws also complete it will take more than 7 weeks sir. more than 8 7 weeks more than 7 weeks it will take so what is an advantage of aws by using aws we can able to get a servers how many ways we can able to get a servers anybody help me physically yeah like your laptop you can buy and get it laptop or no yes sir no yes. same way we can able to get a virtually also or a third way cloud also either physical form or virtual form or cloud so we are going to be getting hundreds of servers from a aws by using aws we can able to get a hundreds of servers on top of 100 servers we are going to be implementing an automated process by helping of ansible and chef let me repeat one more time this point it is very important to all so getting infrastructure from aws after getting infrastructure from aws on top of it we are going to be implementing an automated process by helping of ansible and chef understood let me repeat one more time this very important then so we are going to be placing our application on where 
సభ ఉచిత సభస్ అండి వి ఆర్ మేకింగ్ వర్కింగ్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ బిగోన్ బి ప్లేసింగ్ అండ్ సభస్ అండి ఉచిత సభస్ ఐదర్ ఫిజికలీ ఆర్ వర్చువల్ ఆర్ క్లౌడ్ బట్ ఉచి క్లౌడ్ యా సో ద వర్కింగ్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ విచ్ వి ఆర్ కాలింగ్ యాజ్ వాట్ అప్లికేషన్ దట్ అప్లికేషన్ వి ఆర్ గోన్ బి డిప్లాయింగ్ ఆన్ క్లౌడ్ సర్వీస్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ వి ఆర్ గోన్ బి యాక్సెసింగ్ యాజ్ అ వెబ్సైట్ this is the point we are discussing the first beginning of the session only na what is an application what is the server am i right right excellent but next one is not only cloud servers we can deploy our applications means websites on docker containers also we can place our websites on docker container also sir what is a container please if anybody ask you what is a container just only one answer for deploying our websites straight answer if anybody ask you what is a docker container please answer the question what is the answer please for deploying our applications very easy very easy so if you ask me definition point of view the <clears throat> what is a docker container an isolated an isolated environment we are calling as what docker container for deploying our application for deploying our application we are going to be getting an isolated environment nothing but what docker container and i'll give one more example <clears throat> example so this is an office or not which i am sitting here office or not in this office this room is separated or not tell me separation is nothing but what isolation only another synonym isolation is another word we calling as what separation in this office this room is separated by helping of this four walls am i right by ceiling and ground yes sir no? six shade six types sir in this environment separate temperature and this room is specifically designed for conducting devops classes as of right no? please as you the same way a docker container is a separate environment for placing our application websites only understood no yes yeah. sir i'll give one more example containers sir real time containers have you seen this type of containers in your life no yes sir no yes, yeah in ports am i right so what is an advantage of this container by using this container we can able transport any kind of product any sea food or any kind of product product via sea via sea how exactly this container works the same way our docker containers also no difference but by using this container we can able to transport sea food but by using this docker container we going to be transport our applications websites but how exactly this container is going to be managed can anybody help me by helping of ship how many containers carrying by ship so these are all containers managing by the ship or not same way so these are all containers these are all containers managing control by kubernetes understood still if is not understand don't worry we going to be discussing docker and kubernetes one month more than one month understood very clearly those days definitely going to be understand class ah. understood very clear very clear yeah so we going to be learning vagrant also we going to be learning vagrant by using vagrant we can able to create a virtual machines in your laptop and we're going to be learning negios negios is a monitoring tool whether it is cpu load user load whether it is system alive or not we're going to be monitor and we're going to be learning elk e l k elastic log stacks kibana by helping of this log stack we're going to be monitor our applications this application is generating in the background logs or not those logs will be monitor it will generate reports analytics and finally we are going to be learning terraform 
terraform is a cross cloud platform means by helping of terraform we can able to create infrastructure in any cloud not only aws not only azure any cloud so by helping of these are all the tools git maven jenkins jfrog sonar cube ansible chef aws docker kubernetes vagran negios elk terraform we going to be implementing this devops process so i hope you people are understands very clearly what is the devops for today okay so today our prospect is what devops point tomorrow aws point how exactly we understand devops today same way we going to we are going to be understand aws also tomorrow and by end of the day tomorrow we are conclude what is the difference between devops and aws that is exactly tomorrow session and yeah so before taking your questions so let it be revised one more time so maybe new a uh, few students join lately so overall course is what complete devops and complete aws linux basics shell script also will be, will be will be covered under this course only. and totally it is four months plus plus is there means star conditions are applied and don't expect within a four and a half month not will, will not be complete it will take more than two three weeks more okay so not exact date so what we are promising it will be deliver okay fine so linux basics it will be covered so shell script it will be covered okay no programming is required you have to require you have to you have to hold one laptop for practice so freshers can join in this course experienced students can join in this course any graduate can join in this course like mba mca bsc computers btech b uh, mtech okay not diploma not intermediate sorry so which are all the benefits daily recordings you will be received after payment daily recordings so so from date of registration you going to be accessing 11 months if you ask me personally like that okay but if ask institute officially it will be 11 months okay fine resume preparation entry question and answers for live projects i will be covered 80% material also will be providing with you so our course starts with uh, very basic level and finish with advanced level so each and every session is a practically oriented for example if you go for ansible 2 on module we going to be start it will take three weeks and more than three weeks ansible itself we going to be discussing three weeks for example we going to be start very basic level starting with very basic level so very very everybody can understand non technical student also slowly we going to be understand so each and every functionality thoroughly and we are going to be practical explorer each and every session by end of the model we'll do one project project means what for keeping resume yeah? known so what exactly we are implementing a task in real time that will be implemented in front of you in the class itself we need to implement in your laptop advanced kada and yeah fine so after completion of course you will receive a certificate for only freshers not for experience you know very well why okay fine so daily one hour session is enough one hour equal to four hours for you if it if i am teaching one hour you going to be spend more than two hours more than two hours that means totally three hours per day if increase 15 minute it will increase one more hour for you 10 minutes equal to for practice one hour accordingly please be calculate per day that means one hour is more than enough for for you and more than monday to saturday our classes are monday to saturday every sunday every month every month one sunday we have a session that i will prior to informing you don't worry so you are going to be paying 12000 rupees for full devops full aws for daily recordings only daily recordings only okay listen very carefully only daily sir somebody asked me sir at a time we can able to give a recordings no daily after the class you will receive a recording you have to practice recordings only we are providing for practice purpose my intention is to practice for example some students iq level is very high they can able to listen the class they can pra directly practice but some students non technical students 
very poor student maybe they can be some miss up in the classes their understanding problem or anything but after the class they can revise the class they can practice am i right or wrong but maybe while practicing you have a doubt you can revise the session and you can practice still if you have any questions you have any problem the next session you can approach to me you can talk to me either online students I, I otherwise you can able to share your screen i can able to help you don't worry at the beginning of the session by end of the session don't worry what it why we are provide recordings and why for practice not hold with for life and it won't help you sorry so <clears throat> this is my admin information so 92979297 77 this is my admin number so if any admin kind of questions please any fees related or how to pay payments everything any admin kind of question please so please ask them so if it is busy then only call this number okay this is our admin email address yeah it is a course content link i'm i'm going to be share one more time in the chat box stop it so so offline students so can able to take a picture please so this is very important this link is very important yeah so yeah so first let me complete online students questions and then i'll come back to your offline students so do you have any questions please offline online students first online students do you have any questions for today's session ha ah, so uh, so i said very clearly 11 months access means no download only access i said very clearly 11 months access or lifetime access it won't be download even download is not required for you so we are giving an access for practice if you download what you will do that not required for you please okay fine so by helping up this course you can able to do certificate also online certificate not for institute wise so online exam also at least and as the web service you can able to do that so i am a hotel management so graduate so i want to come to the industry so any non it student can join in this course if he understand english means more than enough to join in this course if he can able to understand my language what i'm speaking you are eligible to join in this course aditya the flow of class is my hand my option it is a sequence not as a parallel only daily one session only not parallelly it will take time so classes are medium not speed not slow it is a medium each and every either experienced students or or non it students or any for looking for job or waiting for job everybody can understand don't worry i'm going to be balance all don't worry so associate an aws certificate association certificate please four anil four real time projects will be covered please so if we have already please venkat asked this question aws devops professionals has have uh, so if we have a java background it is fine and fair if it is, there is no java background is, there is no problem and so even developers can join in this course happily there is no problem please that means only java people can join in this course no anybody can join so after completion of this course project will be uh, will be able to directly work on company still working for the research of required yeah so actually what will happen and i said very clearly model for model one project so that he can able to do one one project with the help of that we can able to practice anything that is my intention if he can able to do what i am providing practice that means he can able to do anything any project so yeah linux basics included linux only basics which is required for a devops course i said very clearly one minute no and even if it is increase or decrease 
four and a half months is same. So we can't be fast track because if it is not a one tool and today we're discussing only total how many tools we have discussed each and every tool minimum two weeks it will take. Practically it is not possible. Even if, so tomorrow I'm going to be include AWS. The AWS itself we're going to be discussing more than seven weeks. DevOps, mostly this course is focused on DevOps. So for DevOps, AWS also required that's what full course will be covered. Our focus is main DevOps zone. That means, that means AWS also it will be. Right. It is a high demand at least. So surrender, please. It is very high demand at core zone. So anybody can learn, even developers, testers can learn this course. It is a mandatory course for all IT people. Prashant, that is my call. Don't worry. So first AWS develop, that is my call. Right. So today demo recording will, will be available in YouTube. You can go for Durga Soft uh, YouTube channel in that. So you can able to playlist call DevOps the AWS Mr. by Mr. Maha. Maybe tonight or tomorrow morning it will be play. So you can able to access please. Anuradha, please see. What is the question, please? What is the question, please, Anuradha? So as my, from non it background, after completion of this course, would I consider this a fresher? So based on your uh, past daughter, if you passed it 2002, 22 or 21, you, you consider it as a fresher. Right? But if you passed it 2019 or 18, you fall under experience. Right? And even if you are at the fresher or experience, you can manage, don't worry. Anurad Singh, please. Navin, I, I answered very clearly. So Navin asked this question. I'm in, I'm from hotel management background. This course is enough to get IT job. So no, you need to hard work a lot. So what I'm delivering the class, you need to attend regularly. What I'm delivering, you need to practice daily. Simple attending classes don't work out, Navin, please. So please, aware of this, you need to implement in, it, in, your, in your laptop. Then only you can able to cry. Joining and attending, attending classes, not a big deal. So what I'm delivering, you need to practice definitely, but you need to do a little bit because if you are a non-IT student, so completely you detach from non, uh, so from IT, that's what I'm, Navin, I'm, I'm suggesting you, please focus much, everyday reading articles, or spending time with more in Google, yeah, definitely. What is if we miss the class? Then? Obviously, we have a recording sessions, you know. That means we are we, we are going to be completely depending on recordings. Sir. That is also not fair. If any health issue, if you miss one class, you can attend, you can recover from recording sessions. But I'm suggesting you live sessions, either online or offline. You have to attend the live sessions. Recordings only for practice. Even if you are miss any one class, you can get back. So all classes from recordings. So no immediate joining and sorry. So how, many, how, how to manage current 90 days period? Companies are looking for immediate joining. It is a big question for all. So one thing you do to, we can't skip this. So, so who, which are all the companies waiting for you, please join that company. Or else you need to resign this company and within three months get the job. Uh, these two are very challenging. Understood, Prashant, Prashant Nair. So day after tomorrow will be start the session. And tomorrow we're going to be understanding AWS and day after tomorrow onwards our regular classes will be started, practical sessions. Okay. So still you have any questions online students? Still do you have any questions, please? Uh, 8 p.m. daily. 8 p.m. daily. 8 p.m. to? 9p, maybe 9 10 sometime.
So, Anil, should they have another questions, please? I'm waiting for a questions, please. I think each and every student so clarified your doubts. Yeah. Online, offline students. <coughs> So for that, so we have one concept in the course and one, one concept. concept. The concept in AWS we calling is load balance. Load balance. Yes. On top of we going to be implementing auto scaling. Yeah. On top of we are implementing route fifty three. These three concepts we are going to be learning to implement your concept. Your what you are asking. So it is hardly in uh, EC two model will be covered. EC two model. So it will be covered. It will be. Yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. that's what to look at the content, ten pages of AWS content. Okay. It will be covered, please. Yeah, please. Another and question. The second question is about Docker. We use, do we use that Docker to uh, give our as and whatever our projects to their clients system to maintain that environment to be developed and to be. So we are not developing what develops by developer that we are going to be deploying on Docker containers. So Docker itself, we're going to be discussing 15 classes. That means end to end we'll discuss. So understanding Docker. After understanding how we deploy an application, also I'll do. I'll show practical. But what's the real-time mode of that? That's why I asked. Deploying applications. Deploying application on server or where? On client. Deploying server. applications. Deploying our websites. It's another way to deploying applications. And servers also. We can deploy application servers. We can deploy application physical servers, virtual servers, okay. and Docker containers. So many ways. But why do Docker? Why how exactly Docker works? Where is the Docker? On on where, where exactly Docker stands? We're going to be learning completely one month. If you start for twenty, it will take twelve hours. Sir. There is an end. If we're starting explanation. What will next question? Next question. It will comes again and again and again. That means Docker will be completed. Come again, please. Uh, after this course, we look to, uh, where we can stand, like uh, after this complete the course, mm -hmm. this uh, completely completion mark, where we can stand. Like, for suppose we can. You be as a DevOps engineer, first of all. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, okay. You be as a DevOps engineer. So, after completion of this DevOps course, you have a two positions. Totally, you you can go for as a AWS engineer. This course suits for, so I don't want to go for DevOps. So for completion AWS, I only fit for only AWS. You go for regime, keep it as, as per AWS regime, you can go ahead. Or else I can, I want to go for a DevOps, you can go for DevOps also. Yeah, so, but, but, so, but after completion of this course, you can feel inside. We're spending hardly four and a half months to five, five and a half, five and a half months. You can feel inside. So 1.5 years of experience, you can feel inside. You feel, you feel I have 1.5 by practicing. But you can manage up to three, three, four, four years of experience, either AWS or DevOps. You be as a DevOps engineer, you be as a AWS engineer, DevOps engineer, then you're going to be show, showcase at least, you know, minimum three, three, four, three point five years of experience. Understood? I got your, your question answered. Yeah, fine. Uh, in this AWS course, uh... Actually, I'm working as a AWS engineer currently in one of the organizations. So, actually, I've seen a number of like tools which is very easy to use in this approach. Uh, mm -hmm. But there is no Lambda and. Uh, uh, Lambda, what exactly, please? It is a development tool. Yeah. So, that is a DAO tools we have. EMR, EMR. No, what happened? So, here is two concepts here admin and DAO role, two roles. So, 19% only admin roles we are looking for that. So, I think you are admin. So, admin means what? We are providing infrastructure. That's it, our job. But developer is not like we're going to be deploying our application Lambda services. Some, some we're not covering that. 
but hardly it will take four five classes it will fine we'll think about if it is possible we cover but as per the syllabus i didn't mention but if it is possible i will try to do that fine any other questions please certification we can do anybody and either freshers you can do or experience can also do but i recommend i recommend don't do any certification and you're going to be paying more than 10000 rupees more than 10 wasting of money don't do that but we are looking for a job first you getting a job settle the job so company will provide you please company will pay for you please do that that is a better option if you do certification unfortunately fortunately you got a certificate you have to show in a resume that means interview are asking more questions. Expertise is very increased. Expectation is increased on top of it. Definitely, if it is not medicated, definitely you will be paid. That is the reason. Do certificate, I recommend, but not immediately. Fine. So, still, is there any questions? Is it online or offline? This is everything is clarified, am I right? So, what is it exactly for tomorrow? We are going to be meet tomorrow with the same link. Tomorrow, we will meet with same link, same time. So tomorrow topic name is what? What is AWS, AWS. and difference between AWS plus DevOps. That is an exactly for tomorrow's session. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I think each and every student take, take this, am I right? So please once look at the, after the class.
so good evening all of you mm -hmm. so what was the last class which was discussed please anybody help me so up to last sessions we understood what is the vaps and what is aws we understood very clearly and before starting today's session first let me fix our agenda let me fix our agenda so today we are going to be discussing about what is client and server communication please we going to be what is a client server communication what is server what is a server types of servers types of 